1753, a thunderstorm over St. Petersburg turned deadly. Physicist George Wilhelm Rickman was experimenting with lightning when a glowing blue sphere shot out of his equipment, struck him in the head and killed him instantly. It was one of the first and most tragic encounters with a phenomenon that would haunt science for centuries, ball lightning. For hundreds of years, reports of floating orbs of fire were dismissed as folklore or hallucinations. They appeared without warning, drifting through walls, glowing against the wind, sometimes exploding with deadly force, then vanished before anyone could explain them. And then in 2012 on a remote plateau in China, a team of scientists caught one on camera. For the first time in history, the impossible had been filmed. On the vast high-altitude Tibetan plateau, a team of scientists was studying lightning. They had set up a whole array of sophisticated equipment, including high-speed cameras and, most importantly, spectrographs, devices that split light into its component colors to identify the chemicals inside. Their goal was to study ordinary lightning, but after one powerful bolt hit the ground, something else happened. A glowing ball of light about the size of a large beach ball rose from the earth and drifted for almost two seconds before blinking out of existence. By pure luck, their instruments were pointed in exactly the right direction at exactly the right time. For the first time in history, a spectrum of natural ball lightning had been scientifically recorded. This was the breakthrough everyone was waiting for. The ghost was finally caught on film. When the researchers analyzed the data, they found something incredible. The light wasn't just electricity. It was glowing with the chemical signatures of silicon, iron, and calcium, the main things that make up dirt. A single piece of evidence provided a significant boost to a leading yet unproven theory. The idea first proposed back in 2000 by John Abrahamson and James Dinnis was that ball lightning is basically a burning ball of soil. Their hypothesis went like this. When a lightning bolt smacks the ground, the crazy heat instantly vaporizes silicon dioxide in the soil, creating a puff of tiny silicon nanoparticles. These particles then react with oxygen in the air, slowly burning and releasing energy as a stable, glowing ball. The event in China seemed to be a perfect confirmation. The ball appeared right after a ground strike and its light contained the exact elements the theory predicted. For a minute, it seemed like the mystery was solved. But ball lightning is rarely that simple. While the burning dirt theory is elegant and now has strong evidence, it doesn't explain everything. People have reported ball lightning inside airplanes where there's no soil to vaporize. Others describe balls that pass right through glass windows, something a hot ball of burning particles shouldn't be able to do. This suggests that the story is far from over and that other forces may be at play. The world of ball lightning research is a wild place full of competing ideas, where every clue just seems to lead to more questions. So if it's not always burning dirt, what else could it be? One of the most interesting alternatives involves the weird world of microwave radiation. In 2016, H.C. Wu at Zhejiang University proposed the microwave cavity theory. He suggested that a lightning strike could create a huge burst of microwaves that get trapped inside a spherical bubble of plasma. The microwave bubble would essentially be a self-contained orb of light, a pocket of intense energy that could hang around for several seconds. This model is really compelling because it explains some of the most bizarre sightings. A glass window wouldn't stop a microwave-based sphere since microwaves pass right through it. It also describes how ball lightning could form inside an airplane's metal body, which could act like a microwave chamber trapping the radiation. The theory is solid, but it requires a staggering amount of power that's hard to grasp. And that gets us to the heart of the problem, summed up perfectly by the legendary lightning expert Martin Uman. If it were easy to make, we would have made it. For decades, scientists have been attempting to recreate ball lightning in the laboratory. They've zapped everything from silicon wafers to tanks of salt water with high voltage. Researchers like Eli Jerby have even created glowing plasma fireballs using powerful microwave drills, producing orbs that resemble some reports of ball lightning. These lab-made versions are fascinating, but they aren't the real thing. They're usually smaller, don't last as long, and can't fully replicate the chaotic conditions of a thunderstorm. This difficulty is only made worse by the noise of the internet. Countless videos claiming to show ball lightning get uploaded every year, but most are quickly debunked as camera glitches, reflections, or even just bugs flying too close to the lens. Without a spectrograph to analyze the light, it's nearly impossible to know for sure. The 2012 King High event remains the most definitive, scientifically confirmed recording of a natural ball lightning spectrum, a single, solid data point in a sea of mystery. The search for answers is a perfect example of how science really works, chipping away at the huge mystery with patience, cleverness, and a bit of luck. It's a field full of fascinating dead ends and tantalizing ideas. If you find mysteries like this as compelling as we do, think about subscribing. 
We explore the frontiers of knowledge in this way every week, and your support helps us continue. So where does the investigation stand today? The scientific community is abuzz, largely thanks to the data from King Hai. That single event gave researchers a concrete chemical fingerprint to work with. Current experiments aren't just shots in the dark anymore. They're focused attempts to replicate the conditions of that 2012 ground strike. Scientists are trying to figure out how exactly lightning vaporizes soil and how those silica nanoparticles behave in a charged, stormy atmosphere. At the same time, others are still trying to perfect the microwave cavity model. A fascinating possibility that many researchers are now considering is that there may not be just one answer. The term ball lightning might just be a catch-all for a few different but related phenomena. A glowing sphere of burning silicon could explain the orbs that pop up after ground strikes, while microwave bubbles could be responsible for the ones seen inside airplanes. This would explain why eyewitness accounts are so varied and often contradict each other. We might not be solving one single mystery, but several. And this quest isn't just about solving a spooky puzzle. Understanding the physics behind ball lightning could have significant implications. It might reveal new insights about plasma or new ways in which energy and matter can interact. On a practical level, it's a matter of safety. There are anecdotal reports of ball lightning interfering with aircraft systems and power grids. Understanding how and why it forms is key to preventing those risks. Ultimately, studying ball lightning is about pushing the boundaries of what we know about our own planet. It's a tangible reminder that even now, our world is filled with fundamental unanswered questions. For now, ball lightning remains one of Earth's most captivating enigmas. We know it's real, we know it's physical, but it's scientifically slippery. The evidence suggests that phantom orbs composed of vaporized Earth can float through the air after a storm has passed. Our theories indicate that pockets of pure energy might be able to trap themselves in glowing spheres. The whole truth is still just out of reach, a puzzle waiting for its next piece. The 2012 recording proved that these things aren't just myths. They're a genuine part of our world, waiting to be understood. The hunt for this ghost, a ghost we know is real, is a promise that there are still profound wonders hidden in plain sight, just waiting for a curious lens to capture them. If you enjoyed unraveling one of nature's most mysterious phenomena, make sure to like this video. It really helps us bring you more mind-bending science stories. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss the next deep dive into the unknown. Have you or someone in your family ever witnessed ball lightning up close? We'd love to hear your stories. Share your experience in the comments below. And if mysteries like ball lightning spark your curiosity, imagine uncovering the human-made mystery that's reshaping our entire world, artificial intelligence. Watch our next video, The Origins of AI. They predicted ChatGPT in 1950 and everyone laughed.